Hello, I'm Bing Naranjo from Bingo Designs. Today I'm going to show you my techniques on how to handle photos at GIMP. So without further ado, we'll get on with it. Create a new file, 1920 by 1080. Now go to file, open up your downloaded photos. Hit Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste, then resize your photo as needed. Open the sky, hit Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste, and make a layer mask. Make it white, and then get the brush tool. Select the mask, make sure your foreground is black. Now select the free select tool, then select the portion of the stone that will serve as the base of our model. Right click the layer to add alpha selection, then make layer mask. Then right click the layer, apply layer mask. Now go to image, transform, transform, make it horizontal. Then make a layer group. Duplicate layer group. Then right click, go to Merge Layer Group. Now go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Blur a bit so our model will pop up later on when we add it to our scene. Now copy the stone and paste. Get our scale tool and scale the stone like this. Then go to Colors, Levels, adjust the Levels input. Now make a layer, fill it with color, copy the color of the mountain. Then right click the stone layer, add layer mask. Right click again, select alpha to selection. Then change the mode into HSL color.
Now go to Colors, select Brightness and Contrast. Decrease the brightness of the stone. Now get the Dutch and Burn tool. Let's make the stone darker. Now it's time to add the moon, make a new layer, then paste the moon to the layer by hitting the anchor icon. Now let's add the model. Resize it. Just about... Oops! This big. Make a new layer again, change the mood into HSL color. I'll click the moon layer to make alpha to selection and get the dropper tool and copy the color of the background. Get the packet tool and fill the layer with color. Now make a mask. Make sure that your foreground is black. Let's mask some part of the moon to make it more dramatic. Now go back to our model, duplicate the model layer and rename it. Get the Dutch and Burn tool. The idea here is to darken more the dark part and lighten more the lightest part. Let's get the eraser tool, let's clean up the edges of the model. Zoom in so we can see better. Let's get the eraser tool. Let's clean up the edges of the model. Guys, it's important when we remove the background of the model, we make sure we do it very clean so that when we add it to the scene, it will look more natural and realistic.
Get the dodge and burn tool again. Let's make more dodging and burning. Adjust the hardness and the force of the brass if needed. Just make sure you use soft brush when using dodge and burn tool. Adjust the opacity if you think the dodge and burn is very strong. Now make a new layer, name it shadow. It's time to make a shadow of the model. Grab the soft brush, then you can adjust opacity if you want. Now let's apply curves to the moon so it will pop up a bit to our scene. Let's open up the image of the fire. Let's paste it below the stone layer and change the mode into screen. Let's adjust the shadow on the highlights. Let's grab the curves. I want it to be more like an orange color. Now, it's time to make some highlights, make a new layer, change the mode into dodge. Make another layer, change the mode into dodge, alt click the model, let's apply highlight to our model, make sure you use soft brush.
Now, let's finalize the details of the scene, retouch all the dodging and burning, make sure the model will pop up in our scene. Now let's make a new group Now let's add more images to add more drama to our scene. Now it's time to duplicate the group, right click then merge the layer group and then grab the curves and adjust the overall color of the scene. And that's it for today guys, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be notified if I upload another video tutorial. Just remember be creative always, bye bye, have a great day everyone.